Hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just diving in the deep end and going over today's science file. Why do my ears hurt at the bottom of a pool? Well, that's a great question. Try this. You will need four two-liter pop bottles, some scissors, some tape, some fish tank tubing, two balloons, and some clay. Start by cutting the bottom off of one of the pop bottles along the ring that's on the bottom. Poke a tiny hole in the bottom of the bottle. Get another pop bottle. Cut the top off. Make sure that when you cut off the top, there's still a tiny bit of curve left for the pop bottle. Poke a tiny hole in the bottom of the bottle. Get a third pop bottle. Cut the top and bottom off, making sure that the top and bottom are cut the same way as the previous two. Make sure to cut two pop bottles exactly this way. Fit the pop bottles so that they slide in and lock. Then get some plumbing tape and wrap the plumbing tape around the outside of the pop bottle. Now get yourself some fish tank tubing. And you're going to cut two fish tank tubings the size of five centimeters each. Now, blow up two balloons, twist the neck of the balloon, and attach a clothespin to close it off. Attach your balloons using electrical tape to the tubing. Now place your tubing in the holes that you made previously. Use some clay to make sure there are no leaks. Now fill your four bottle tower full to water. Now take the clothespins off and watch. balloon squeeze all of its air out? And why does the bottom balloon expand? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. You might think of pressure as only in gases, but gravity plus the weight of the atmosphere pushes down on fluids as well. Just like the weight of air gives air its pressure, the weight of water also gives the water pressure. Since the top balloon only has a small amount of water, which doesn't weigh that much, thus having lower pressure, the air pressure in the balloon pushes with more force, overcoming the pressure of the small amount of water, and pushes all its air out. The opposite goes for the bottom balloon. Since there's roughly 8 liters of water, which has more weight and thus higher pressure, the air pressure in the balloon can't push back that amount of water with enough force. Since it can't overcome the force of the water, the water pushes into the balloon, causing the balloon to expand. The same thing happens when you're at the bottom of a pool. The massive amount of weight pushing not only down, but also sideways, creates pressure on your eardrums, putting more weight on your eardrums than they are used to, causing your ears to hurt. So now you know more about water pressure. You know, watching an inflated balloon expand with water is why science is so cool. Thank <laughs> you.